What's up everyone? Uh, today, we're not gonna be doing any car videos, uh, but we're gonna be doing something that's car related. Something that I've been trying to do for a long, long time. A lot of times when I wanna wash the car, uh, it takes a lot of time, scrubbing the wheel is a pain in the ass, and I'm like, you know what, I should just power wash the wheels, it's gonna be nice and, uh, and quick. Dragging the power washer out of the shed is, uh, is always a chore, so I always say no to it. Uh, so you know what, I've decided, why don't I just hard mount a power washer somewhere in the garage? Uh, keeping it kind of here on the side, having this wire being dangled all the time is just not my thing. I want a nice and semi-clean install, pretty affordable. Uh, so this is what I came up with, and I'm, I'm gonna walk you through this installation, which I think should be pretty straightforward. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be stripping down this uh, pretty cheap Home Depot uh, 1700 PSI uh, power washer. Uh, what we're gonna be interested is uh, are the guts. So we're gonna take the motor, uh, we're not gonna worry about the soap uh, container, and we're gonna be mounting a shelf here, and that thing's gonna go up here. On the left, we're gonna put this reel. Uh, this, is a, this is a high pressure uh, reel made by uh, General Pump. Uh, I could not get an Ely uh, reel. Uh, these are the best reels in the house, but they don't make uh, high pressure uh, uh, reels anymore. They stopped making them, uh, so I have to go with something that's equally as good. Uh, we're gonna do, I'm doing a new flexible uh, pressure washer hose, and there are a couple of fittings uh, that, I, uh, that I had to get to make this work. Uh, I also got a new gun. Uh, everything that I'm using today is linked in the description, so if you're interested in building this kit yourself, uh, you can do it uh, like that. Now, I know Ryobi makes even a smaller unit uh, that's 99 bucks, I believe, and um, I'll link both of them, uh, but I already have this. I don't use it, uh, and it's really the same thing. So uh, for me, I believe this is uh, this is perfect. Uh, one thing to note is the following: uh, they're sort of uh, the low pressure, high pressure washers. Uh, you uh, use these M22 fittings, which are these. Uh, now, ooh, look at the water pouring out and sort of the higher pressure units use these, and you can kind of see it here, use these, I believe they're half inch uh, fittings. Uh, so you need a converter to convert from, uh, from M22 to half inch. Uh, and the way this is gonna be connected is the following. Uh, this is my uh, cold water supply. I'm gonna be splitting it using my, uh, my splitter. Uh, water's gonna be feeding the unit from the power washer. I'm actually, for now, I'm gonna use this long hose because I'm trying to find a very short M22 uh, hose. They're hard to find, uh, so I'm gonna find one. But for now, I'm gonna kind of spool it nicely and I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna use it with a converter to convert to, uh, to this. All the fittings will have to have Teflon tape on them, uh, so that's why I removed this one from here to show you. So this one actually have to be, we'll have to redo this. Uh, so to make sure we don't have any, uh, any leaking uh, issues down the line. Uh, hard mounting uh, this reel is, uh, is gonna be pretty, not challenging, but uh, I wish if this was spaced out 16 inches so I could just mount it to the studs. Unfortunately, it's not, so I have this uh, white piece of plastic board that I'm gonna screw into the studs then I'm gonna be able to just easily mount it onto the wall and it should be, uh, it should be good to go. Uh, I got this, uh, the shelf lined up somewhere over here. I guess maybe here. We'll figure it out where the shelf goes. Uh, hey, maybe it fits somewhere at the bottom. Maybe we won't, we won't need a shelf. We'll figure it out as we, uh, as we, as we move along. Uh, but let's, uh, let's get to it. I've got this plastic piece of board that I cut and I found this at Home Depot. I don't know exactly what size it is. I took a picture of it. Oh, it's 18 inches wide uh, by, I don't know what the thickness is, uh, but it's used for external uh, trimming, uh, but it's made out of hard plastic, so it's definitely going to withstand the pressure of this, uh, of this reel. Uh, I'm gonna mount it here, mount it to the studs, one and two, uh, and, uh, before we do that, however, uh, this reel 
has these big and chunky holes. These big and chunky holes need to be held by bolts like these. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is the following. Uh, I'm going to drill holes in this, put these bolts from the bottom, kind of uh, drill them in a little deeper so the head can hide. And uh, that should give me the ability to uh, screw it in and hopefully uh, have a nice and stable connection. Don't judge me. All my levels and tape measures are actually at the house that I'm renovating. Uh, so I'm taking a break from it today. So I'm going to have to eyeball it a little bit. Uh, I can always adjust the level on the studs, but this looks pretty, uh, pretty dead even to me. Let's drill a couple of pilot holes. Let's see if they can poke through. Perfect. Let's drill these holes a little deeper so uh, we can hide this thing. Perfect. Haha! <laughs> Let's take these bad boys in. So now we're gonna flip it and this should go right in. <laughs> nice and tight. And uh, this one's good to go. Uh, before we do anything else, however, we're gonna grab our Teflon tape. Now, always do it clockwise. Why? Because when you tighten it, you don't want to be taking off the Teflon tape. So apply the Teflon tape, and that way you really be sure there are no leaks down the line. I really should have done this probably before I put the board up. I think that's enough. All right, uh, I think we are ready to mount it onto the wall. For the purpose of this exercise, I got these white screws, so they don't necessarily stand out too much when I uh, when I screw them in. Let me show you that the studs are here. I see one screw here. Yep. Beautiful. Holding. Ha! Huh. I, th I think my iPhone has a level. Bam! So it looks like we have to lift it up just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Perfect. A bit too high. All right. This is now leveled. Now, Let's get to the disassembly of this Ryobi. Let's see, what's the best way to do this? All right, so this is your power washer. So, this is it. Actually, I wonder if, it, if I can just keep it here. Uh, maybe for even a cleaner install. So, there you go. Uh, this is where the water hose is gonna go. Uh, this is the exit from uh, from the unit to here. Screw the shelf. This stays here. Actually, no. Uh, the only bottleneck is this. Actually, I did not think of that. Uh, I might need another 90 because I'm gonna have my hose come out of here. Crazier idea, what if I mounted it like this? Or like that? Huh. Dude. This 
could work. I wonder if it, if it can operate uh, like this. I don't see a reason why not. Now let me grab this hose now. Let's tighten it. Now let's hook it up to the cold water. Uh, it's a really I need to connect this and this hose Ooh. this hose gets connected here I really think I'm just gonna hang it up here uh, the pressure hose is gonna reach this nicely and this hose is just gonna I'm gonna loop it somewhere over here uh, So let's try to manage these cables a little bit. Ha! Ah, look at this, perfect. No kinks, nothing. This guy, I'm actually gonna try to hide behind. This is where the adapter goes. I'm gonna screw it in. And then on top of that, the M22 is gonna go. I'm almost there, everything's connected here. Uh, more Teflon tape on these connections here. You've got to be kidding me. Of course I'm going to make it fit. I am going to make it fit. So, what's happening is, this is at the wrong angle and I just can't get it to, to fit. So we're just going to have to bend it out a little bit. Ah, yes! Ha! Ah. Woo! See this angle? This is what I wanted. Ah. We're getting there. We are getting there. Looks like it's working. Uh. All right. What I installed at the end over here is this hose to trigger uh, quick connect. This allows me to quickly connect and disconnect the gun so I can store it properly. I'm gonna have to somehow figure out how to, uh, how to mount it. So we're gonna screw this in here. Let's connect this gun and we're gonna do a quick huh, test run of whether or not it works. All right, it works. Okay, so I filled up, I opened up the water. I can hear it filling up the hoses. So it's definitely here, it's definitely here, definitely here. I'm not seeing any leaks, which is good. Why is it leaking here? What is this? Oh, well look at that. This is completely my fault. I forgot to screw it in here. Uh, this is not the design flaw. This is the design flaw of this guy. Ah, cool. All right. So <laughs> the water is connected. Uh, the the wiring, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, but I think we all need to give it a test drive. So let me open up the garage and let's see if we can uh, give it a quick drive. Wow, so the good news is <laughs> everything works. I cannot believe how uh, how quickly I did it, and especially since my daughter is sleeping upstairs, I gotta go wake her up. Uh, I'm gonna put it back together, uh, wrap it up, 
Uh, I'll show you the final product of what it looks like, but this was a cool, cool install. And even in its raw format, I mean, look at it. It is awesome. I got to clean up the wiring a little bit, uh, but once it's cleaned up, <laughs> this is going to be a, a super, super cool solution. So this is the final product of the work I did today. I tried cleaning it up as best as possible, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so one more time, uh, this is my hot and cold uh, garden hose here that I used to uh, wash the car. Uh, on the left hand side, I installed the, uh, the pressure washer. Uh, super flexible hose connected to this uh, Ryobi 1700 PSI power washer. Uh, all the wiring is hidden in the back. Uh, I might maybe mess around with the wiring, but uh, but let's see. I mean, for now, it's for what it is. It's it's fine. And these are my connections. I have a Y splitter here. One goes to the hose. This one feeds the uh, the pressure washer, and uh, and this is my power to the pressure washer that goes that goes in here. Uh, the pressure washer, one more time, is connected via these bolts. Uh, nice and easy, and. Um, and it looks pretty symmetrical actually i'm super happy with the way it came out i uh i like this gun i actually just washed the car uh i'm gonna do another video of me washing the car and actually getting rid of uh the track marks uh so that should be coming up soon uh but uh, it was actually super super easy to wash the car. This thing rolls out nicely uh, There are no leaks. Uh, so all my connections are uh, nice and tight and overall. I'm just super super happy with it so in reality uh, How much did it cost me? Uh, so uh, the pressure washer I got a couple of years ago and it was I believe 125 bucks uh, Everything else, all the parts, I believe this was all under 300 bucks. So you can get this whole setup for under 300 bucks. You can go even cheaper if you don't want to get the uh, a, diff uh, a new pistol and maybe you can reuse that hose. Uh, but I was I actually was looking for something that, that's convenient. There are a lot of hoses in the, in the cheap uh, pressure washers that are not flexible. Uh, this hose is super flexible and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this was uh, this was a weird one. I uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I finally did it. And I uh, thank you for sticking around with me. I am super happy with the way it came out, and uh, I cannot cannot wait to start using it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.